Hello everyone, in this episode I'm going to talk about how you can deploy your Glazer WebAssembly applications on iOS. First of all, we're going to need to install Windows Hosting Bundle. This bundle has everything that you need to run a speed.net core application. I'll mention the download page link in the video description. It has .NET runtime, it has ASP.NET Core runtime, and if you install this on your Windows machine, of course, then it's going to install IS module on your IS so that you can deploy your ASP.NET Core application on IIS. Once you're done with that, then you're going to need to publish your server application in a folder. If you don't mention the folder, then by default, it publishes in root folder and we don't want that. So I'm going to mention a path in which I'm going to publish my server application and I'm going to configure it as in release mode because we don't want debugging information to get published. Once you're done with that, then you can map that path to your IIS default website and then you should be able to see your application run on localhost. This also compresses your application. So when you publish your application, it will compress your application and only publish DLLs which are needed for your application. So the size of the application that you're publishing is way smaller than what you actually run in the development region. So let's publish this application and see how it looks like. So we have been working on this blazing chat application and now we would like to publish this on IIS. First thing that you need to make sure that you have IIS installed on your Windows server. For that, I'm gonna to go to my start menu and say control panel. And here I'm gonna to go to programs and programs and features and click on the stern windows features on or off here i want to make sure that i have iis installed on my machine if it's not installed you won't be able to open it on your machine you might have to install this and after installation you might have to restart your machine so make sure that iis is installed on your windows machine i do already have it installed on my machine and that's why i can open my internet information services and here it's mapped to a default website if i go to manage website and advanced settings it's already mapped to a physical path which is inetpub root folder and if i go to my local host then we'll see default is website hosted on our windows machine and instead of this we would like to host our blazing chat application so the next step is to download this windows hosting bundle installer i'll mention the link in the video description to download the current version of this this has dotnet runtime asp.net core runtime and it also installs a module on your machine I've already downloaded and installed on my machine. You can check that from programs and features. You can see that Microsoft.NET 5.0.4 Windows Server Hosting already installed on my machine. And it also installed a module on my IIS. If I go to my IIS and check out modules, you can see ASP.NET Core Module Version 2 installed for my IIS. Now our Windows machine is ready to host our Blazing Chat application. For that, I'm going to go to my VS Code and let's stop our service. Here we have been running our server project because we are using hosted version of Blazor WebAssembly application. And that's why we'll have to publish our server project. If you're just using standalone client project, then you want to publish your client project. But if you're using ASP.NET Core hosted version of your Blazor WebAssembly, then you'll have to publish your server project. First, we're going to need the folder in which we are going to publish our site. So let's go ahead and create that. I'm going to go to my file explorer. And here I've been maintaining 
all the source code for each episode and here i'm going to create a folder which is going to be publish make sure that you're not tracking this folder i have ignored that in my git ignore file so that i'm not pushing my assemblies on the file tracking system like you're using now i'm going to open this empty folder and copy the path and then i'm going to go to my vs code here again and let's bump up the font so that you can see what i'm typing and here i'm going to publish my server application so then i'm going to say dotnet public and mention the output folder which is going to be the path of the folder that we just created and i'm going to configure this in release mode because we don't want to publish our debugging information in this folder we would like to just publish the release version of our application and i'm gonna hit enter here this is going to build my application build all the project server shared and client project and then it's going to compress my blazer web assembly and this may take a while for you i have already done this a couple of times and that's the reason why it did it pretty quickly but this may take a little bit for you and it got published in this folder that we just created so i'm going to go to my file explorer again here and you can see this folder now has files now we should map this folder to the iis so that iis can host our application for that i'm going to go to my iis and here in the default website i'm going to go to manage website and go to advanced settings and instead of this path i would like to put my path where i published my application i'm going to click on ok and restart my iis now if i go back to my browser and go to localhost and hit enter here it's going to look for blazing chat application and this is how you can host your blazer web in the application on iis i'm going to try and click on login it's not going to do anything because it doesn't know where the database is if i go back to my app settings then you can see that we have been using this <coughs> excuse me we have been using this uh, sqlite database so if i go to my server project then i have this database folder and i'm gonna copy this database folder and then put it in my publish folder you might have to do this step differently depending on which database you're using but i'm using sqlite database so i just need to copy paste my database in my publish folder now if i go back to my local host and then click on login then i get logged in as john smith and i can visit other pages too i can also do this by using ip address let's log out and instead of using localhost let's use my ip address for that i'm going to go to my powershell and here i'm going to say ip config and that's going to list down my ip address i'm going to copy this ip address and then paste it here and you can see that it still loads up my application here i'm gonna enter john smith's email address and then his password and i get logged in in my application here it's saying not secure because i haven't installed ssl on my ass you might have to do that depending on where you're hosting your application and i can also visit this application on a different device for that i have installed this android emulator i'm going to open chrome application here and here i'm going to enter the ip address of my machine and when i click on it then i get blazing chat application here now here i can enter john smith's email address and password john dot smith and then try to log in and i get 
logged in into blazing chat application on my android emulator i can go to contacts page i can go to settings page and i can also log out from my application so this is how you can host your application on is if you have any questions you can ask them in the comment section below or you can reach out to me on twitter or facebook thank you so much for watching bye